all right so here we are about to pretty much show you guys how to two turn on the new shield hero collab of the book book of the spear boss battle and we're gonna do this on the highest mode which is going to be extreme now this is going to be really good to try to farm up because you do get a keys in a dupe or a keys in a coin or keys in a character if you do complete this and get up to 500 of the material so you definitely want to try to farm this up especially if you do not have kizuna uh, but if you do have kizuna you can use that dupe coin for her or save up those dupe coins for um you can get like three if you do summon you can get like three and then exchange for another character um but this is the team we're going to be using it's going to be roxy slater green Escalator, and chaos arthur and in it i will be also trying to use other teams as well um, you want to use this artifact card set which is the one that boosts up your attack power for humans and unknown which is really really nice and if you want to you can have like attack food so i'll make a little bit of attack food right here just so we can make sure we have enough damage to clear the boss as quickly as possible now again is the boss easy most likely yeah you want to try to make sure you use humans because uh, the humans do do a lot more damage so keep that in mind oh man i kind of forget this guy's name from the shiro hero is this like the book hero so this is how you want it oh damn i, was for I still had an auto so this is what you want to do let's go for this this and then this again you want to make sure all your characters are rocking attack sets as well too Do enough damage and then you got that explode damage and then boom he's instantly going on the first first turn and this is where you just spam your other cards with Escanor and stuff like that and this at the end and it's gonna be easy just like that just instantly clapping and this is the end that's if you do have chaos arthur again i'm gonna be showcasing a lot more other teams just so you guys can um use them i'll be using bond instead of chaos arthur again if you didn't summon for chaos arthur bond is gonna be a really good choice and we're gonna be using this with all attack sets so i keep that in mind so later you got to use like crit chance rolls on, on him all right so i had to redo a little bit um <laughs> i forgot that he, he got rid of my debuff on one of them <laughs> like he literally just got rid of my debuff so we gonna redo a little bit i didn't notice that he wins the debuff so you just want to try to rock like your um bond cards at the very beginning just to use them up and then afterwards you want to hopefully get like roxy and Escanor cards just to do crazy damage with your crits and leave it at that i forgot how do you look when doing this one yeah that'd be a little bit cooler all right, so this time you're just gonna use Roxy. Yeah, this is one I kind of messed up on because I forgot he uh he cleansed debuffs. <laughs> um, let's go for this just in case I do crit. And then this should be GG. Again, this is if you do not have um Chaos Arthur. But if you do have Chaos Arthur. Then you can just use that instead. I think chaos ought to be a little bit better, especially in terms of damage, right? All right. So this time we rocking the unknown team. Um, this team is gonna be a little bit different as you're more so using Albedo counter to blast the boss most of the time. But you know you got the other characters who work pretty well as well. Um, most of the time you want to try to have two Albedo counters, one for the first phase and then the one for the second phase, just so you can clear the boss. As I said, usually with this one, if you are going to try to use Albedo team, uh, you want to try to use like the counters. 
that's how you're able to clear a lot faster but if not you want to try to use humans because the humans are way better on defeating the book of the spear boss so uh, this time you can just go for this Usually, I'll be able to counter should blast through him. So that's pretty fine. Again, we do still do a lot of damage, but Albedo should have enough damage. So you can see this is literally a bad hand for me because I didn't get a counter at all. But we was able to clear on this one. But you're gonna see right here that it'll be a pretty bad one because I won't be able to get through the boss. And you can see he does not get debuffed at all either. So it's very unfortunate for my uh, tier. And you can see I'm about to be struggling trying to get through him. And that's why I say you need like double counters if you wanna try to go through this. In like a couple of turns if not it will be a three turn instead if you don't pull albedo counter i'm going to probably show you how it is when you have double albedo counters and he just pretty much disables you i wonder if he it's super tanky when he has this uh shield up okay nothing too crazy yeah it'll just be pretty much three turns but i'm gonna show you albedo when you have a double counter for phase two all right let's see if i can show you real quick hopefully my rng is a little bit uh good <laughs> hopefully i have a good rg be able to show this again you want to try to have a counter for the next one all right so we go for all these just wasting cards if i don't see a counter i'm gonna just reset let's see another counter yeah i'm just gonna reset All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Um, again, use the Albedo card, use the Nashi card. Leave it at that. And we get another Albedo counter, which is beautiful. But now you guys can witness it. And you're gone. Now again, you want to put up your counter. He's going. He's going to be attacking multiple times. And let's go for this. Just want to try to use all your attack cards, just so when Albedo counters, it can finish them off. So let's see. Again, I still have a whole bunch of buffs. And GG. That's all I said. Like, if you have double counters, you can just clear this in two turns. But if not, uh, it's, it will be three turns. All right. Well, that will be pretty much the end of the video right there. Um, that would be all the teams. Um, you wanted to again make sure you try to farm this as much as possible just because you can get these sweet rewards in these nice boxes that do give you a good amount of rewards in them at randomized so you want to keep that up 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Just remember you guys, I'm out. Peace.